The result of the test came out from the laboratory today. Let me explain what is in there. This shows that there's nothing, nothing wrong, with, wrong you. with me or I... my husband, isn't it? Oh, well, you know that already. See, I don't know if this makes you happy or not. You want me to be happy with that? This is the fourth examination we'll be carrying out on you and your husband. And the result shows that there is nothing wrong with you medically. Nothing stops you from getting pregnant for your husband. Doctor, I've been hearing this same line for the past three years since I got married. I'll be talking 33 in a couple of weeks. I am worried. My husband is worried. Our parents, families and loved ones are worried. The only person that is not worried is you. Ah, how do you mean? See, Mrs. Omide, how about you going spiritual? See, I have a man of God that God has used for different women in your condition. I wouldn't mind to introduce him to you, if you don't mind. Let this be the last time you're going to talk about my wife in such a manner. The next time you do, I'm... Baba, no, they shout. No, for your life, if, if they follow me, talk, no, they shout. Okay. What did they worry you? No, what did they... Where will you be? Kilo man, she gonna... You see, you see they do father follow. You won't beat me. No, you won't call police for me. Okay. And they watch out for you, guy. And they claim you, say, your wife, Ellen, they cheat on you. Mm. Now, may I bust your brain? The reason why you have been childless for the past three years is because this woman has a master plan. My I shock you? You are not a final bus stop. Make you, make you, make you the thing when you wake up, so <laughs> You know, you know, what surprises me most is the way you talk about someone you don't even know. You've not met her before. She does not know you. You don't know her. Not my fault. No, I didn't ask you. Not my fault. Say I never met your wife before. Uh -huh. No, you insist say you are married from America. Uh -huh. You remember, I did call you, guy, come to Nigeria, have this wedding. You kept insisting America, America. So don't blame me for not knowing your wife. Baba, I bet keep shocked. No, how does that relate to waiting with the talk? <laughs> you talk as if you know my wife more than I do. I mean, this confidence you have in spilling rubbish, absolute rubbish, arrant nonsense. See, Alai, uh? I feel never meet your wife. Okay. Hmm? Well, I get guys where you know your wife for Yamichi when she did university. So mm. I did, if I did tell you something, may you calm down, may you listen to me. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? See person will go school. See what they talk for mouth. See what they You get guys. We don't know my wife for donkey years, Abby. Okay, what about that? With all due respect, hmm? you are a fool. You know, you know, you get sense now because guy, I expect much from you. If you get sense, you know who they talk this nonsense. Have you, you know, you ever tell you since? I get guys where they, where you know your wife package. Your wife they cheat on you. They they start one gesture you are wearing. Taco Jared. Guy, I don't share. I mean, I mean, I don't share. 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 I don't I know. I don't share. 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 I don't they ask for more respect. Well, uh, and look at you now. Look at you. What do you like this? See what you reduce yourself into. A peddler of unimaginable rumor. Kai! For your information. Hmm? I married my wife as a virgin. A V. I don't say that concept is alien to you. Because you, you, you just a change woman, you know. Like that, like that. Like, you, you understand. But ever since we got married, she has been faithful and committed to our union. You know what it's I understand what you need. Hmm? No, I know how to handle people like you. Uh. Now listen, at this point, I am ready to do anything to prove to you that this Helene that is making you shout like someone does not have sense, 
is cheating on you and she's the cause of your childlessness. I'm willing to prove anything and stake anything at this point. Uh, yeah. I don't understand. You're ready to prove my wife is cheating. No. Who you be? How much do you have? What do you have to bet? No, you they talk, you they rant now. What do you have to bet? Jennifer, oh, yeah. This is all they whine me. They mm. whine me. You don't forget. See? Me, you are rich. We get joint business now. Yeah! And I have 33% share in this joint business. So I am ready to stake <laughs> that. <laughs> is this a prank or something? No, not like show me the camera because mm. I, I don't mean. Are you joking? You want to stake your 33% shares of our joint venture company. You, you want to right. stake it on a business argument. Guy. In case you see this party way in your head, it'd be like say they don't use a partition your brain, Abby. Your brain, you don't want guesses. I know go pity you. Me, I know the pity, and I won't I will not pity you. Baba, I know what you pity. You get to help with your pity. I am only looking out for you as my friend. But at this point, I see you don't want to reason. Huh? And I will prove to you, I am repeating myself. Huh? I will prove to you that your wife is cheating on you. Yeah, you heard me. I will prove it to you. Really? Hi! Hi! Victor, if not like this, you carry your, the matter of your destiny for hand. Eh? If not like this, you carry her. Such they sweat, all, all the barbed wire with in your head. They stand up, on top woman matter. Don't they jam talk? On top woman I matter. Jam talk, my, my change the fuel. No problem, bring it on. Bring it on! I love that, you know. I love challenges. I love bets. You understand? I give you some minutes. Victor, in fact, which I they talk, I give you 14 minutes. In fact, what am I even saying? I give you one month. One month. One solid month. 31 days. Victor, and after that time, I'll place a call. I'll send you a video. Of how myself and my wife will be celebrating, jollificating. You know, but don't be squat way. Do you understand me? Because by that time, we will be sitting pretty upon 66.6% of our company shares. You they talk and switch. <laughs> huh? You know, you start be talk. You they, you they switch. You know what I do. But listen, I want you to do me a favor. Uh -huh. Charge your phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Charge your phone. Mm -hmm. Because by the time I, Victor, give birth, mm -hmm. send you the video mm -hmm. of myself mm -hmm. dealing with your wife in bed. Mm -hmm. You don't say you know they came for you, no, you to cry. No, you you, you, you say cry. Don't they 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 Stop. And I follow this one talk now. Stop. Stop. Top man. I judge you. You guys are not you're not you're not young boys. You're not kids. You are grown men. <laughs> you're grown men for God. Why are you shouting? And Victor, that was below the belt. You don't talk to about a man's wife like that. <laughs> See. And, and the fact that they've been married for three years without a child doesn't mean she's unfaithful. If she don't fool this one, where they see that yeah, because this one they don't they don't just this one. She don't be fooling. You know, it's not your business. It is where, for God's sake, allow the man to deal with the issues in his family. It's his family, it's his wife. Just focus on your own 33.3% of the joint business. He said, wait, 33, wait. At this point, it is 66.6%. <laughs> what? Yeah, you heard me. Don't, don't tell me you're serious about going through with this, this stupid bet. So you want to sleep with your friend's wife just to prove a point? Yeah. Baba. At this point, the game don't change you. Do you understand? At this point, this has nothing to do with proving a point. No, this has to do with business. It is now about who was the lion's share of the business. Do you understand? See, I beg, no meet for board meeting next week. All these things when they talk, don't they piss me off? Don't they piss me off? They talk like. It's okay, just don't pay many <laughs> Guy, I, I think it's that time you met your wife. You guys have been back in the country like a couple of months now. Nothing is stopping you. Ah, I, I, I just hope and believe you guys are just playing. We are not playing. We are, we are not. We're going to involve the company's lawyer. Look, I'm on show Victor that all ladies are not the same, especially my wife. Hey. Hello, Orange. Yeah. 
Our husband must not know. In fact, we the hospital together to run that package. And she is with the doctor right now. But she should be out any moment from now. Bad guy. Oh yeah, oh okay. yeah. I go call you back. I go call you back, Nana. Madam, 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 it's you having calling now. My name is Guru. Guru, babe. Ah, so this also. is where you are. You got me pregnant. I brought me yet to a bot for you. Nana, no, 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 it's not like and that. And you still it's have not to like... go to one after another woman. It's not what you think now. Men are scum. It's babe. not your fault. Just because you know I love you more than my husband. Babe, babe. Nana. Nana. Ah. Nana. Babe, now. Why don't you just leave me alone? Madam. I understand all is not well. I'm so sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. It's fine. You see, I want to assure you that you will have your own children. Did Dr. Kelly tell you already? Dr. Kelly? Who, who is Dr. Kelly? Are you not the man of God the doctor mentioned earlier? I mean, Dr. Kelly. He said he was going to connect me with you. Just that I didn't know it would be this fast. Doctor. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, you know, we call him um, Dr. K. So, you know, Kelly K. I was kind of confused. But if it's about Dr. K and uh, Dr. Kelly, yes, I'm the one. Oh, man of God, please, you have to help me. You really have to help me. I've been married for three years without even getting pregnant once. Not to talk of having a child. I understand. You see, you are very fortunate. On any normal day, I don't do this. I don't just meet people at random and start delivering messages. But you see, God specifically sent me to you. You see, there's something very important I would like to discuss with you as regarding this issue on ground. If you are not in a hurry, uh, there are some things I would love to discuss with you as you know, regarding this situation. Who am I hurrying to? How do you hurry and be hurrying for the past three years? Where, what has it fetched me? I'm not hurrying any. Where do you want us to discuss? Let All us right. just go there straight. I, I am ready to go anywhere. All right. Um, if that's the case, um, there's a place I take people like you that have you know issues like this, uh, where we conduct deliverance and counseling. So since you're not in there, I think we might just have to get going. Now. Open. Let's go. Let's Are you go. comfortable? I am ready. The Lord will honor you. You Amen. are favored Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen, Pastor. Just come in, sir. God bless you. Just come in. You are a wise woman. Yes, sir. Very sensitive. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. God bless you. Please just, just have your seat there. Okay. You are blessed in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please just make yourself comfortable. Thank yeah. You. It is well. Uh, sorry, I might not be able to offer you anything because of time. Uh, I am. It's fine, sir. Um, I'm deeply sorry, man of God, for the way I yelled at you the other time. Uh, I thought you were someone else. Uh, well, you don't have to be sorry. You know, as a minister of God, it's one of those things we experience. You know, I told you something earlier. I said you are very fortunate. Hmm. Normally, I don't do this. I don't. But the Lord laid it in my spirit to approach you. And I'm so glad you allowed God. Man of God, please help me. Help me. Madam, I can assure you that God has heard your voice. Amen. 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 Yeah, but uh, you also need to hear the voice. Uh -uh. Man of God, what are you saying? I've been waiting on God for the past three years and there's nothing he asked me to do that I won't do. Even if it's to fast and pray for seven days, even 40 days, I am ready. Hmm. I am. Help Thank me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I hear it loud in my spirit now. 
The Lord is telling me that there's a barrier that is stopping you from getting pregnant. Thank you, Father. Now, he's saying that you need a third party to break this barrier for you in order for you to get pregnant. Third party? How? Uh, I know it might be confusing, but I would explain. And I pray the Lord open the eyes of your understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. What God is trying to say is this. You need a man to sleep with you. Uh, 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 let, let, me, let me make you understand something. If you cannot allow that, you, your husband needs to sleep with another woman. Now, once he does this, this will open his mouth mood. And by the time he sleeps with you, I can assure you, with ease, without stress, you will get pregnant. I don't understand. You, you mean it's either another man impregnates me or my husband impregnates another woman? The choice is yours. You understand? You, you, it's either you allow another man to sleep with you or you permit your husband to sleep with another woman. But the choice is yours to make. But be sure of one thing. Whichever choice you make, I will keep interceding for you. Does hear the Lord. God bless you. <laughs> man of God, man of God. All right. <clears throat> man of God. What is the Lord saying? You speak, me. Lord. The servant is listening. <laughs> you this man. <laughs> well, well. Well, ah, read. Yeah. I think you need to go on a retreat. Retreat? Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Because what I saw in the dream is not something you should think about. You see, I'm not trying to take the glory, but you and I know that God speaks to you. <laughs> Pastor, Reverend, Bishop, <laughs> Dreamer, whatever, I know that. You have that gift of dreams and revelation. I know no doubt about that. And it has helped me in time past. Yeah. But a retreat hmm, is a no for me. Ah, I will eat. way no chop go die. I mean, what am I supposed to be doing at the retreat? Sir, I will not eat fasting. You kill me. <laughs> Ray. Yeah. Maybe I should tell you. Okay. So that maybe it will help. You see, in that dream, I saw you eat a, a fresh apple. You were eating it in that dream. Then you picked another apple from the table. I love apples. <laughs> of course, it was also looking fresh on the outside, but it was full of poison inside. Yeah, you picked the two and you were eating both. In fact, the first apple fell from your hand. You didn't even bother because you were eating the second one. The second one must have been sweeter. Very sweet. Then later, you had stomach upset. It was so great that you had to run to the convenience. But you know one thing that really bothered me much about the dream is that while you were still on the toilet seat you were still eating this poisoned uh, apple that caused the poison in the first place uh, wait i think now i i can't i understand so God is already giving you light to it? Uh, uh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Well, I think I know where all this is coming from. Yeah. Mm. Victor, right? Victor. Victor. Victor? Oh, oh God. How? Ah! 
Victor, Victor spoke to you to speak to me. Isn't it? No, tell me the lie. Oh, Victor, what a coward. What a coward. That day he was, he was, he was, he was just. See, I should not even say anything. The thing is this. The first apple was my own share of our company nursery. Hmm? And the second apple was Victor's share, isn't it? And I was eating Victor's apple. And then I had a running stomach. I ran to the toilet. See, don't worry. <laughs> I will eat that apple. Eh? I'm not going to back out. I will eat that apple. Victor's apple. I will eat it. After all, it was only punching my punch. Now I didn't die. Or did I die? It didn't be like that. You see, well, I don't understand what you're talking about. Sincerely. <laughs> Sincerely, I don't. But uh, I think this dream is something you shouldn't take for granted. Oh. You really need God. Stop that, Bukayo. Stop it. Victor must learn his lesson. That guy is just too arrogant, so full of himself. He must learn his lesson. Even if it means in the hard way. I'm not backing up. <laughs> My wife. Hello, Helen. Ray. Yeah, your mom is here and she'll be leaving very soon. Um, I would advise that you hurry up so you meet her before she leaves. Oh, mom is around. <laughs> please tell her that will soon be home. Hmm? And please plead with her to please wait for me. Hmm? All right. Thank you, dear. All right. Um, <clears throat> man of God, please go back to Victor and tell him that Ray said he's not backing out. Hmm? Have a lovely day. I'm going back to my office. Man of God, just serve the dreamer. <laughs> What's up? I'm fine. Where's mom? Oh, she waited, waited, and she couldn't wait any longer, so she left. But promised to be back again soon. Oh, and I was rushing so as to meet her. Hey, yeah, sorry. Ah. She tried. <laughs> Baby. You're welcome. Please, can you give me a cup of water, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> right? And anything to. Ah. Oh, never mind. Uh, you like food. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let go, sir. Let go. Why? My name is Ego. Ego. Yes. Ego. Mom brought her this afternoon and she'll be assisting with the house shows. But you never mentioned it to me that you did it at the house. Oh, now, when did you and mom, when did you make this arrangement? When? I did not make any arrangement with mommy. Maybe she's just concerned about our current situation. And at least if Ego is helping with the house chores, maybe all the stress I'm going through will reduce. And maybe... Maybe what? No, the doctor told us that there's nothing wrong with us. And I believe that at the right time, God is going to provide us with our own baby. I know. But there's still nothing wrong with her assisting me here. Yeah. If it's about the money, I'll, I can be paying that for my salary. You know that this is my mom. You know it. But it's just that I don't want a stranger in our house. But well, she's not a stranger. So she... My, my name is Ego Shuko. But people, they call me Ego for short. I come from Newi. I don't they work with a mommy friend for day Now, dear mommy, you can't see me. She come beg me, say, Ma can't do house get for the house. See, I've been no hungry before. I've been no hungry at all. But mommy beg me. She beg me where well, well. Even my older mommy friend. She beg me. She say, and I need this house get urgent. Now I'm hungry, say, Ma can't work for you. So, my mom told you everything about my wife and I. Right. Ah, 
She won't tell me anything, no. Oh, tell me, see, Madame Lofi carry belly. Not to talk of one. See, it's like seven years now. One, I don't marry. Eh, uh -huh. she calls sister me, say, Enough! Honey, it's almost time. Uh, I will join each other. I'll be there soon. Okay. I prepare your food. Oh, Organa, oh, now, 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 you want to be make a boy rice. Ego, come here. Exactly, do you want from me? Ah, not you. I don't, I don't want anything. Really? Leave my family alone. Ah. Leave my life alone. Come, how much did my mom promise to you? Ah. Yeah, because I can pay you double. Just back off. Oh, 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 eh? Your mama na better person you. If I, in fact, na beg, she beg me. Before I agree, come work for you. Ego. Sir. Ego. Sir. Just think. Fifty thousand naira. And leave me and my family alone. Nonsense. What's your problem? Why are you crying? Okay. Oh, 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 this is the way you give me. Don't make me remember all the better I don't for everybody. Oh, yeah. I come up there for the five times. Five times. Let me talk. Say, I don't want to do it again. No. 
this same white envelope with this same amount, 50,000. Now you give me that night, then you come back, me say, Bob, come on, that night, that night, for her. The city better, city better. I I I call I call it a I call it a commodity belle. Even though I talk say I no go do am again. You mean as you have? You've aborted pregnancy six times. Oh, oh that shame won't give me the talk. I'm like this shame won't give me. <laughs> You have been pregnant six solid times. Ah, would be for our family. Naso would be born like pig. See, one person, people born 15, 20. Person, we no born for our house. You no born, you no born at all at all. My auntie, now you born seven. You born five boys, two girls. Five boys, two girls. Uh huh. Come, is it? Hereditary or, or what? It's not disease, so guy. Okay? <laughs> Stop that! Who is talking about disease? I mean, is that how you people are here? Okay. Huh? My story will be for our family. See, yeah. he gets, he, he gets one's one secret. He get, he get one. Until what did they do for us when we small? That's the way that they do for you when you swim. Come. It's only for females. Eh? Ah, no! They didn't do it for men. Now, general is something. Now, you bought for a house like this. Now, you did so. General? Uh -huh. So, does that mean that. Uh... Oh, that's sorry. <coughs> sorry. Lord. Does that mean that thing way that they do for you people when you were young? Can it be done for someone of my age? Ah. Okay, that one, I know, I know too sure, but... You must be sure. I feel, I feel, I feel happy you ask. You know it's a good do. Ah, but night, night don't do. And I don't can get card for my phone. She... Eh, hey, tomorrow morning, if I don't buy cards, I go help you call my uncle, I go ask. Forget it. If it's about God, forget it. Fifty thousand. Buy card on your phone. Ha. Like you, you're supposed to have card on your phone in case of emergencies now. Ah. Okay, fifty. It's fifty. This is just for buy. Ah, it's too much. Just for buy card. See, ego. I am doing this from my heart. I'm giving you from my heart. You don't know. See, I need help. My wife also need help. We, we, we want to drain. Oh, you don't understand. Please help us. Help us now. Oh, this is this, this the way they talk now. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not too sure oh. because uh, not, people, people can't ask the talk now. Talk what? No, talk what? Leave them and talk. I don't you see you are, you are dealing with me directly. I, I, I'm the master of this house. Oh, I call the shot here. You want to be hearing what other people are saying? Ah, hey, go! This one that your family has taught to baby factory, give us one. We'll pay royalty for life. Mm. <laughs> he could say yes. Huh? If you say so. <laughs> hey, go. Come, come. Come, come, don't go. I say sit down. You do it. You sit down. It is my. I got it. I know. I know how to sit down. I don't. I don't sit down. Ego, don't worry. Sit down. Madam, no sit down. I don't sit down. Ego, do you drink? No, not the like. Not sad. They drink like that. Exactly. I don't be saying. Take, take. Don't be saying. Don't be sad. They drink like that. Let's go.
Mommy, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there's something that has been on my mind. And I've been thinking about it since uh, on my way here. Really? I hope this is not about money. <laughs> so, what is it? It's about what you said yesterday. Yesterday? I said quite a lot of things. Which one exactly? About a stranger in our home. Oh, about that. Uh, well, um, I think I've changed my mind. <laughs> you know, I critically analyzed the whole situation and I think that there's nothing bad in you. Having someone to help you with the house chores. I mean, that would give you a lot of time to attend to me, attend to yourself, and of course to make you look youthful, you know. <laughs> I've actually thought about it too. Okay. And I don't think I need anyone assisting me anymore. Uh, what did you say? I don't need anyone assisting me anymore. Babe, you're not getting the matter. You need someone. I mean, let somebody help you with everything. Hmm? But I said I don't want the game. I buy first. <laughs> God. I don't want. I don't want it anymore. Babe, you need help. I don't need help. You need help. I said you need help. You need help. I don't need help. You need help. Why am I even wasting my time? So where are you going to now? <laughs> you need help by force, by fire, by force. We can no longer do this, so you have to leave. But I've not done anything wrong. Why do you want to send me away? Well, I'm no longer comfortable with your stay in this house. And the same goes for my husband. What am I even saying? Left to him, he wouldn't allow you to spend the night in this house. Ray can never send me out of this house. Excuse you? By the way, was it Ray that told you to send me away or you just decided that on your own? <laughs> hey, wait. Am I the one you're talking to in that manner? In my own home? <laughs> your home. Her. Our home. Excuse you? Hey, 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 my baby. Is this lady okay? I'm like, are you okay? Are you alright? Is something wrong with you? Oh, oh Ellen. Uh, what's up now? What's the problem? <laughs> Sell this thing to leave my house immediately. Oh, Haba. Ellen, I thought we already discussed about this. Besides, you don't need all this. You don't. She's just a poor girl. I'll say it one last time. That is Trump! To leave my house immediately! What gives you the confidence to think you can send me out of my husband's house? Excuse you? Oh! <laughs> yeah, so bad. You didn't tell her. What? Madam, Ray and I have been dating for some time now. And I've been staying at his mother's apartment for a few months. He promised to marry since you're barren. Honey, I'm sure you know that there's something wrong with this girl upstairs. You're out of your mind! Yeah, why are you pretending? Pretending? Have we met before? No, no, you just showed up suddenly at my house yesterday! Oh! Swear you didn't give me 50,000 naira just the night when your wife went out. And how does that relate to our discussion, I mean, what we're discussing right now. How? Ray. Yeah. Is that true? It, it, Swear that we didn't have fun. The kind <sighs> of fun your wife had never given you in your two years of miserable marriage. <clears throat> Ray. It, uh, yes? Ray. <sighs> Babe, I can explain. 
I can explain to you. Please. Please, I can explain. Please. You can explain. You can explain. That means all that girl said was true. No, 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 no. No, they are not true. They're not. Please believe me, please. Did you? Or did you not give her 50,000 naira when I left for work last night? Uh, I, I, I did. I did. Did you sleep with her last night? When I was drunk. I was drunk. So you and your mother, what are you? Just you let me. <laughs> you are such a big embarrassment, Ray. You're such a big embarrassment! Okay. Baba, I took on your voice. Guy, you know what they shop they shop you for this woman? Mm -hmm. All this why this guy be the behave like he holy pass. No. So you have been the guilty one here. Ha! No, I fear you. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Let's just accept with our friend here that his mom looked around all the city and just picked a girl from the street and she found no way her to put that girl except in her friend's house. <laughs> and also that uh, the 50k that he gave the girl that night when his wife was not around was out of the magnanimity of his caring art for the need. Uh, yeah. is a good man. He just dashed out the money. Oh, no strings and that. He's a nice guy. <laughs> so, I don't understand. Why are you people laughing? Uh, he, he, he's a funny to you. Extremely funny. Extremely funny. Unfortunately, you are the stand up comedian with the A rated jokes. You save me. At times, your mother could just weak person. This one, the person they sit there in the class stand up comedian. Or whatever. Oh, man, this one I sit down comedian. Uh, I'm a joker. Stand up or uh, sit down. No concern. Just, just for this. Just a yarn of Just a yarn nonsense. No. I'm being sincere. Your sincerity makes no sense, bro. Makes no sense. And sincerely, I'm telling you, I wouldn't have done less than what your wife did. As in, she, she did well. No, honestly, I, 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 I don't know what came over me. I don't know how all these things happened. <laughs> Sincerely, you have to believe me. I'm sincere. I'm saying the truth. I've got come off it now. Uh, they, they pay me. Ball and bear. Uh, no, now. Uh, we fool. But I said I'm, I'm sincere. I am. Look, guys, I'm sorry for shouting at you. The truth is this. I don't even know what to do right now. What do we do in this situation now? Yeah. What, do, what do I do? Oh, actually, uh, not believe God advice you. That's uh, Victor's department. Seeing that he is the special advisor to the president uh, of fornicators, you know. Now, for your mind, now you don't talk. No, for no reason. What you just talk? The reason I'm again special advisor. If if funny to you. I beg, see, as, as, as things be made, I don't even involve me for this matter at all. At all. Because, uh, when they talk now, okay, all this is where they talk now. At the end of the day, this one where they sit down here, you go go with 66% share of the whole investment. You where they talk, 33% no, sure for you. Now, 66.6%. 66.6 .6 or 66. I'm only 33.3%. My own, now waiting. Zero, I don't lose out now. Your own be 0.00%. You should get percent now. I beg, I beg, free man. Victor, 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 hold on. If it's about the bet, please, I'm no more interested. You say? Yes, you had me right. I'm no more interested. Wow. Hmm. Yes, all I'm interested in right now man is down, getting man down, man down, man down. my marriage back. Oh yes, now hey, hey. my home is crumbling before oh, my very face. Bar, what you bar? Wait, wait, wait. I, I know what Wahala. You mean say you know they interested in the issue? Hey, miracle! Uh, no, they tire Jesus. Uh, they made Jesus into your nonsense. <laughs> no, just leave Jesus. They your they made Jesus day and day. My home is crumbling before my very face. Sorry, eh? sorry. No, you see this thing a very small thing. Mm -hmm. We all know, say, all this thing where they happen, your mama be involved. She knows how it go. 
So now only she be, she serve as a witness for this matter. The advice I would give you is you and your wife find time to go and visit your mother. Oh. Because not only she knows what all this is where they happen, she knows about everything. She knows this. So the time when I know this young man, I shouldn't talk sense. So. I couldn't. I could take him as compliment. Me no I know she could take him as. I couldn't talk. Sense. Yeah, I'm saying talk sense. So, so do a question. Go see your mama and your wife. No job sense. Yeah. Do have the bomb? Do we have the put out the bomb? Wait, what? Had they cooked something for fire? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Mom, you are my only witness aside from God. I, I want you to say with your mouth so that Ellen can believe me. Mommy, before you brought that um, ego girl into my house, have I met her before? Was I dating her? And has she been staying in this house for some time? Ah, uh, why all these questions? Mom, please just answer me, please. Please. Okay, yes. Yes. I don't understand. Oh, so you mean she has been staying with you for some time? A stranger? Really? A stranger? How is Ego a stranger to you? How is she a stranger? Oh, Ray, you don't want to tell your wife. Tell her what? Uh uh. The Ego is your younger wife. Ah! Hey! Mommy, ah! No, now. Let me see what you have cost. Ellie! Some days now, you've been avoiding me. Why? This is not too good for our marriage. Yeah. It is not too good for me. Tonight. You know what? No problem. Just enjoy the bed. Enjoy the whole of the bedroom, right? And enjoy your night rest. Now, and I discovered there is no food for my husband. I made his breakfast. As a sensible person, what you can at least do is what? Prepare his dinner. What do you want to be just for in his house? No, tell me, what do you want to be useful for in this house? Food, you cannot cook. Babies, you cannot make. What do you want to be useful for in this house? Mm-hmm. And if I don't... She said you should move! I said you move! Yeah, I do it!
Abi! I've been waiting for you now. Where have you been? <laughs> what happened to you? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? <coughs> Sorry, never mind. Baby, what happened to you? <coughs> what happened to you? Where are you coming from? Why is, why is he why, why, is, why is he behaving like this? Why are you sitting on the floor? <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> what? what is this? Your husband went to go and drink an entire beauty. He's there on the floor, vomiting like a broken cap. Is that how you people used to do in this house? <laughs> anyway, he needs your attention.
week. What's happening here? You came back late and drunk last night. You need to see what your first wife did. She left you alone in your messy condition. I had to step in because I can't be watching my husband in that messy state. She's just a wicked soul. Listen. Firstly, I'm not your husband. Mm? And then, uh, secondly, thank you. Oh, you're awake. What have I done this time, Ray? You know, the least I expected from you is just a simple care. And you just left me like that in my vulnerable condition last night, all because I took a few bottles and then I messed myself up. Is that is that what you do? Like? Is that what you do? Who gave you that wrong information? I, I couldn't sleep when you went out last night. I waited till you got back and even when your new wife abandoned you, your mess, I came there, I cleaned you up and I helped you lay on the bed. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh my god, you're just unbelievable right now. I thought you were only barren. I didn't know you are a cheap liar. LIAR! Three. You called me barren. You called your wife. Barry. Now say that again. All information. That room is not accessible to you anymore from now. Just go in there and pack your stuff. Move to the opposite room or either the guest room. But why would why, why would I want to leave our room? Because Ray and I are expecting a baby. And a baby. My baby we need is daddy. The test result is out. I'm afraid it's positive. She is seven weeks gone. Positive? How? I, I, I mean... I can only plead with you not to hurt her this time. Young girls of nowadays go about having unprotected sex and getting pregnant. We cannot kill them. I mean, she's your sister. She deserves all the love and care she can get now. Ellen, the doctor says that the result is positive. But I, 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 I don't, I mean, there has to be, it's like there's a mix-up somewhere. There's no mix-up anywhere, my darling. I was the one that changed the sample myself. I took that of Ego and I replaced it with yours. This is so confusing. Oh, so how is it convincing? Are you not the one that told me yourself that your husband cannot get you pregnant unless he has to impregnate someone else's first? I can't think straight right now. I can't think straight. Oh, really? You better do. Because I cannot watch you bring a bastard for my son to raise. Mommy, you know I won't do such. So. Oh, this is your plan. You want to bring someone else's child for my son to raise? You are such a big shit. Well, mommy, you should trust me now. Trust you? I can't. I can't even bring someone else's child for my son to raise. A total stranger. But a total stranger is carrying your son's child. How convenient is it for you to trust your own son? Oh, really? The stranger you brought yourself. How is it my fault? You started this game, of course. I don't get it. The total stranger you brought it because you want to be a mother at all costs. And you wanted to be a grandma at all costs. That is why you played along. Oh, gosh. But, mommy, you know what? I started this mess. Okay. Oh, gosh. Hey, come here. Now, whatever you decide to do, 
trust me. Over my dead body will I allow Roy, my son, to raise a bastard. Oh, gosh. How? What wrong have I done to you? <laughs> that you have decided to destroy my marriage and my home. Ego, <laughs> I picked you from the dog. <laughs> we were hopeless. <laughs> we were on the verge of committing suicide. Everyone rejected you, but I received you with an open hand, even without knowing who gave that to you. Don't you get? I must finish the job before 12 midnight today, or else I go run mad. Baba said I can use either my mom or any girl who don't born for me before. Ah, you still ask me who I go use. Maybe my mama go enjoy the money when I get her. You see, um, it go day inside now. In the next 30 minutes to one hour, the job go finish. Yes, at least nobody go ask after her when I use her. You don't grab my guy. Now, so I want to carry. Eh, I will update you. I will update you. No matter, my guy. Ah. Uh, let go! Let go! I don't know you. But I can smooth this guy, please. Yes. Somebody is pushing. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. This guy. Who are you? Thank you for saving my life. I was about to be used for rituals. Ah. My boyfriend. How? Why? What about your parents and um, where are you from? <laughs> I have no body again. No father. No mother. No relative. All I have is my boyfriend. The same one that wants to use you for ritual. <laughs> so where do you go from here? To die. Obviously, there is nothing else to live for. <laughs> no, you can't kill yourself. I will die eventually. Even if I choose to help you? Help me. I'm just a total stranger. The more reason why you're the best fit for this role. I need a total stranger that I cannot trace. I need someone that I don't ever have to see again after the assignment. Assignment? <laughs> I paid you heavily. And we both agreed to help each other. So why? Why have you decided to not kill to your side of the bargain? Why have you decided to destroy my marriage, my home, and discard everything I have built with my life ago? Why? 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 I 
know you gave me hope again. When I was at the verge of ending my life. It is true that you are my God. And you've been kind to me. It is also true that we had a deal. And it appears all of this isn't going according to how we planned it. <sighs> but each time I think about what will happen to me if I should step my feet out of this house, it becomes too hard for me to keep my own side of the bargain. I have experienced in this house what I can never experience anywhere. Is it the freedom? The peace, the love, the, the sense of having a man to call my own, the future ahead of me. I have enjoyed too much. <laughs> All of these are too juicy for me to let go. But if you don't let go, my whole life will be shambled. My marriage, my home, my joy, my future will go down the drain. Don't you get it? I'm sorry. I won't let go. I have enjoyed too much to go back to the street. Helen, this life itself is survival of the fittest. Ego, ego, ego. I beg you, don't do this. Ego, I beg you, ego. I really do not want to do this, but I have to do it. And I want you to please understand with me, please. You see, Ego needs all the support and love and attention I can give her right now. And having you around would be a big competition, which I don't want to deal, honestly. Tonight, I'm going to transfer some funds into your account um, so that um, first thing tomorrow morning, you might have to get yourself a new apartment to stay. Please, I'm sorry. I still love you, but I'm sorry. It, it's just what it is. This is looking like the dream I had. And you know, I warned you. You know, I don't even know what is happening to me right now. All I know is that I have sent my wife out of our home. And I don't know her whereabouts. Oh, God. And what about the lady in the house? Ego. Ego, hey, if you see ego and you see snake, it's better you follow the snake. Because ego is more deadlier than any snake. In fact, she's an apprentice witch. She has been showing me she gets his early left. In fact, I'm just in a confused state. Because she's carrying my pregnancy, so I don't know what to do with her. Ah, huh. uh, Ray. 
if you will ask me. Do you know what I will tell you? What? You know, I don't know. I don't know how, but I'm feeling that that lady, she's a pretender. No. I feel she's an impostor who only have come to to purge you and your wife of all that you have ever worked for. No, that's impossible. I don't think that is true. Because the doctor confirmed that she's carrying a baby. Ray, look for your wife. Ray, go look for your wife. Huh? Go look for your wife. Let's go. Go look for your wife and bring her back. How's this one? Now that my husband has sent me out of his house, I now, I believe you're happy, right? My son is not a bastard. Neither will he raise a bastard in his house. And he thought I was doing it for us. I thought I was doing all this for us. I had the privilege of following the other option. But I agreed with you that we should go ahead and impregnate another one. I brought Eko into the picture and I asked you to bring her in so that we would not suspect anything. Everything was going according to plan until Eko decided to ruin everything. Now, Eko is happy. Having a settled home and a responsible husband. Great. Happy becoming a father soon. And you? Happy becoming a grandmother soon. And myself. A total loser. <laughs> Take the bastard in your tummy to his rightful owner. And that's where your happiness is. Ellie. So you're pregnant for another man, right? Oh, oh my God. And mom. So this has been a game plan all along. Like I'm dreaming. Somebody wake me up. Gentlemen of the law, please. I don't understand what is going on. This is my house. Well, this young man has accused you of harboring this pregnant wife. You have a case to listen. <laughs> pregnant wife. She's my wife. <laughs> you are still calling my wife your wife. You are still calling my wife. Your wife. <laughs> Mr. Bukayo, yes, sir. I'm only releasing him to you based on trust. Thank you. Because the lady in question actually testified against him that he truly adopted her, which made the case more complex. But from my investigation from here, we are able to find out that it's something totally different. Thank you. You said it's your friend, Abby. Yes, sir. You have to really talk senses into him. He should be careful. I mean, he should be careful of total stranger. Because he might not be lucky next time. And not everyone will be lucky like him. He should be careful, at least. He should be careful of strangers. And even though if he's going to help a stranger, he should at least do a little background check. I will do just that, DPO. 
and I want to appreciate you for releasing him to me on trust. And no I I promise we will not disappoint you. Thank so, you. I also. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mr. Bukayo, yes, one sir. more thing. Okay, sir. Please, you have to provide him for us anytime we need him for further investigations and questioning. And make sure he doesn't leave this country and this vicinity until everything is being concluded. You can count on us, sir. I promise we will do that and we will not disappoint. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate it. Sir. Please speak to the officer in charge. He will release his clothes and property to you. All right. Thank you so much. Better be careful. Honestly, I don't know how best to thank you for all that you have doing. I mean, thank you for the prayers. And ultimately, thank you for coming through for me when I needed help. You don't have to mention. Um, after all, what are friends for? <laughs> you know what? That a good girl. Terrible. A witch. That girl almost, not even almost, she messed up my family. And I insisted that I never had anything intimate to do with her. But yet she capitalized on the day I got drunk. And lied. And I slept with her. <laughs> can you see what being drunk can do? Can you see what it had cost you? <laughs> hmm? If not for the mercies of God. And I saw it coming. I warned you. I warned you about it. I told you to fast and pray. But you refused. Honestly, I'm so sorry that I, 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 I didn't do anything. You know, as regards what you told me that day. I didn't pray. I'm deeply sorry. Well, your apologies, they are not enough. You have to apologize to your wife and to God. Very important. Very, very important. My wife, yes. will she still want me? Of course, I believe. Well, I know the kind of wife I married. She's a God-fearing person. Let me try. Maybe she'll be gone. Hello? Uh, hon, please don't, don't hang up on me. I know that I've wronged you. I, I'm sorry. I, I really don't know if we can maybe see it later today. I was deceived. <sighs> a man disguised as a man of God and deceived me. He wanted to sleep with me, and I felt it that day. I felt it, but I just waved it off. He told me that it's either I get pregnant for another man before I could get pregnant for my husband, or my husband impregnates another lady. But I couldn't imagine laying down with another man. I couldn't imagine myself doing that. And that was... Why I arranged with your mom and brought Ego in. That decision was so painful. I had to do it because I love you and I wanted my own child. I'm so sorry, Oni. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Well, I understand. Hmm? And I'm so sorry too. Honestly, I... I know I wasn't sensitive enough as the man of the house. And I'm so sorry for sending you out of our matrimonial home. I didn't even know what came over me. But Hego is gone. And she's gone for real. Hmm. I missed you. I missed our love. I miss the love that used to exist between us. 
I miss my home. You know what? I miss you too. Hmm? But the good thing is that you're back. And I think this cause for celebration, right? <laughs> you remember the first time I met you? Mm -hmm. I asked out on a date, isn't it? Yes. I took you to the cafeteria. Yes. I bought a wine. Do you remember? That's the way you was again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like we did the other time. No problem. I'll Hello, that. miss. Excuse me. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? What are you doing here? Oh, you've come to finish what you started, right? Is it? I did. Babe, have you met my friends before? Your friends? Oh, yes, my friends. Uh, Richie, Victor. <laughs> Someone please wake me up. Wake me up. Ray! Babe, what's the problem? So you've been behind this all this while? Yeah, I know. So you plunge with your friends to deceive me, drug me, and sleep with me? My friends? How? What are you talking about? This is the supposed man of God that deceived me, drugged me, and let me. He was in put about all these things. What? Victor? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Baba, calm down. We're going to stop now. That's what's him. No, 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 no. I don't care. Please don't confuse me here. Richie? No, no, I. It was Victor I placed a bet with. How come? Richie? Hey! Yeah. Oh. Good afternoon. Um, good afternoon. Please, I'm looking for the man of God. Man. Man of God. Yes, uh. I don't know his name, but I was here some time to go to see him. Oh, man of God. Please come in. Please come in. Please come in. Please come in. Um, please make yourself comfortable. Okay. The man of God will be with you shortly. Okay, sir. Um, pardon my manners. Um, are you by any chance, Mrs. Um, Ellen Shumide, the wife of Mr. Raymond Shumide? I am Mrs. Elaine Shomide, and Raymond Shomide is my husband. But I'm sorry, how did you know me that much? Oh, the man of God told me. But I didn't tell him my name, neither did I tell him my husband's name. Um, oh. uh, please, can I, can I offer you something to drink, please? Um, just a minute. Thanks, that's right. Uh, please uh, help me manage this. Um, so the man of God will be with you shortly. All right. Thank you All so right. much. Sir. Can I? Uh, oh, okay. All right. Thank uh, you. So, like I said, the man of God will be with you shortly. Let me just. Uh, okay, sir. All right. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. What am I doing here? How did I get here? What did you do with me? Oh my God, oh my 
Oh my god. Guy, I can't do what you asked me to do. Fine, I drugged that drink, but um, what you asked me to do is pure evil. Pure evil. I can't sleep with my friend's wife. She has done nothing against me. I can't. Death of yours is very risky. <laughs> if I was like you guys, if I behaved like you guys, it would have been much worse than this. Everyone knows that I never laid a finger on your wife, I never touched her. This woman is a faithful woman, she was only a victim of your foolishness. No one touched your wife. She's innocent. The pregnancy is mine. What? The pregnancy is mine. The pregnancy is mine. The pregnancy? The pregnancy is mine. It's mine. The pregnancy is mine. It's mine! I'm about to be a father! No! <laughs> the pregnancy is mine. She's pregnant? Yeah, she's pregnant. That means if you did not touch her, Victor, you didn't touch her, then that means the pregnancy is mine. I'm about to be a father! Hey! 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 Ah! Baby! Baby, my baby, darling. What's <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wow! It's boy! It's boy! Hey, It's boy! 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 It's no one comes to the Father except through me. So it means if you are not in Jesus, you are not living, you are dead. If you are not with Jesus, you are in falsehood because it's the truth. If you are not with Jesus, you are on the wrong path because it's the way. And you see, the truth is, my sister, no man, no man is upright. No man is morally upright. It is only the Jesus in the life of men that makes the difference. That's the truth. Because any thing that does not have Jesus as the foundation is built on the sand. Of course, it can last. This Jesus is the Savior. Are you willing to give your life to Him? Are you ready to come into Him? Wow. Please, kneel down and let us pray. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity. Machine Kojalo, 
emi olorun ni kin so fun arabini pe oluwa ti gbo ohun re oju okan pon as you can see this is my husband so maybe you should just keep going hopefully you get someone to do it malika skali muru disco kaliska to be so we pay oju okan pon I'm not actually referring to her husband, mm. but a child. Mm. Because how many no queeny? Arabi ya tara kuni. Oju man kuni. Hmm. Alafia. <laughs> I love you too. Can you imagine? I tell you the truth, but we should just thank God for the salvation of our souls. Hmm? Nothing is as safe as having Jesus. Honestly, <laughs> can you imagine? I love you. Oh, your mom. Watch. 